A house, a hoard, and questions hanging overhead. A welfare check in late winter eventually leads to a very shocking discovery in early summer. Pretty bizarre situation, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Local detectives from two different departments are investigating after an elderly woman's body was found in a storage unit. But that is just one bizarre fact in a case just full of them. Tonight, News 5's Jordan Vandenberg goes in-depth on what led up to this gruesome discovery and the mystery that continues today. Conspicuously unkempt and overgrown, the single-story home in the heart of Parma Heights stands out. Even those that once lived there were notoriously hidden away. It was deemed to be a hoarder situation. We had the Board of Health out, the fire department. Uh, building department, you name it. In early March, a concerned neighbor noticed the mail had piled up at the home of 70 year old Robert Elsey, an extreme recluse that was seldom seen in the mountains of debris and his belongings. Police found his body and his cause of death. Positional asphyxia, which meant that, you know, some of the stuff in his house had actually trapped him there. Detective Adam Sloan says Parma Heights Police launched an investigation into Elsie's death, which was later ruled an accident. But hidden in the hoard was a question that no one could answer. After speaking with some of the neighbors, uh, there was some grumblings about his mother, Lois. Uh, Lois would have been 97 years old uh, this year. Detective Sloan says on paper, Lois Elsey, who also lived at the home, was very much alive. Property records list Lois as the owner of the home, but that's where the paper trail stops. No death certificate, no missing persons report, nothing to suggest that she was dead. Just a crazy turn of events here. You know, one little grumbling of, of mom not being there anymore, that she, maybe she passed away 10 years ago, to leading to a storage unit in Brook Park now. In late May, Brook Park police responded to a self storage facility. Authorities say a box was found in a storage unit that had previously been rented out by Robert Elsey. In that box were a woman's mummified remains. Authorities say not only did the medical examiner's office determine it was Lois Elsey, but they determined that she died a decade ago. We found some documentation that Lois was uh, receiving Social Security and a form of retirement. Um, we're not 100% at this time. Again, it's kind of hard because Robert's not around anymore as well, uh, but it appears that that Social Security and the retirement funds were still incoming at the time we found Robert. Detective Sloan says it is unclear how Lois died and how long she had been in the storage unit. Both Brook Park and Parma Heights Police hope the investigation bears that out. We're gonna keep the investigation going. Uh, right now, it does look like most of the, our focus is on Robert, and like you said, he has since passed away. Inside the unkempt home, the Elsies lived in relative obscurity, but little did anyone know what was hiding out of public view. In Parma Heights, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.